Okay, so let's crack on with the Micro Aquila fuselage. Now, as in the instructions, they actually say you don't need to build on the actual plan. Um, a lot of people ask me what I build a lot of my micro gliders on. I'm just using some uh, foam board. This 5mm foam board, and it's actually the offcuts from making one of the boxes to travel the gliders around with. And all I do is I give it a spray with mount spray and I'll give it a good coating, good tip, do it outside because you do get some overspray with this and it can make the place tacky. Um, I just give this a good overspray, just give it about 15 seconds to just vapour off and then the plan goes down lovely. So let's crack on with the fuselage. Okay, first part of the fuselage construction, we're going to need to cut out the Bolswood F2 and also this, also this little ply light um, F2 which is the, obviously for the um, wing retention to go in so we need to cut this out and that out first. So the first thing we're going to do is making sure that we got those two holes lined up that we're going to glue that because this is for your wing seat so we're going to glue these two together and then find the fuselage sides. Okay so we've got the um F2 with the strengthener. I've cut out the two fuselage sides. Now I have to warn you, these are very, very fragile. In fact, I broke mine just there, I was in a little bit of a rush. But this, as you can see, is a massive weak spot. So just be very careful getting those out. So the idea is what we want to do is we're going to get these. I'm just going to trial fit, make sure that these all fit in their lug retainers to start off with. Now, this is F3. That's F3. And you can see this flat spot's got on the bottom. That actually locates, so this is the what's known as the wing mount. That locates onto there like so. And we're just making sure that that fits in place as it does but we're not gluing any of this so the idea is this is going to fit into here like so so I'm just checking that one's fine and I'm just going to take this bit out and I'm just going to check that these all fit which they do I'm just going to check the other side like so and then the idea is what we're going to do is I'm going to get a little bit of masking tape and what we're going to end up doing is I'm going to drop all these in one place they're going to go on there like so I'm just going to get these accurately put together like so and then we are going to um, tape those together like so then when I've done that I'm then adding the um, formers very gently in So I've finished the fuselage size now I've got to say I've had a proper mare with this um, just here let me just show you on the, these sides here they just kept breaking when I pulled it together they just oh, it was a nightmare absolute nightmare the only thing I found was that I actually got this uh, wing seat where the wing bolt goes I got that in place that helped but uh, yeah that was there were a few uh, choice words being said Anyway, I've put the bottom sheet on now. A little bit of a tip with the bottom sheet. Um, I glued it all onto this former here. And then all I slowly did was as I clamped just that last bit together and then just added, uh, I actually used some cyano to get the instant bond. Now, the next thing is, the suggestion is obviously in the plan that you put this. Top tip. Again, I've inserted my control wires in already to go because otherwise once you've got that on there like so 
you know, how are you going to feed them wires and that's going to be an absolute nightmare trying to do that. So, top tip, uh, pop your wires in now, um, that will just make it easier to actually um, set it up later on. So I'm going to pop that on, it might not be so easy with the sanding, but um, I'll take that. So, top sheeting on next. Okay, while my top sheets are gluing, uh, the next thing we're going to need is these four. This is your nose block and once again I would suggest if that you glue it, try and glue it. If you're using Sino, just glue it in the middle bit. Um, any other glues will be fine, PVAs and superfatics will be fine. But if you go right round the edges with super glue it's very very difficult to sand. Um, so, next step. I've got my top sheet on, um, top tip, I put my wires in as I've already suggested, <laughs> put a little bit of uh, low tacky tape there just to keep them in place because uh, I went like that and just fired one out the tube. Anyway, next thing is, is we're going to be making the hatch. Now, you have these little ply things, so the idea is the lower piece here is going to get glued the top piece stands proud so the idea is that is going to sit in there like so so we've got the fuse large sides this is H1 so the whole build process is we're going to pop this magnet into here, like so, and then that is then going to drop into there, like so, and we're obviously not going to glue that because that's part of the hatch, and then the idea is, is that this is going to drop into here like so, and then we're going to build the hatch around like so. So adding these canopy guide rails, I've just put mine in place and held them in place with a couple of little clamps and then all I'm going to do is I know I'm going against my greater judgment but purely for speed I'm just going to add a little, tiniest little bit of Sino just to get that in place. Now, I don't know um, if you go to a pound shop and you see this glue here, hard as nails, 151 super glue. I got this in a pound shop, literally unbelievable. But the fumes off of it are not pleasant, so that's why I only use it as and when I really need to. So going to do that I'm going to do that the other side and then I'll get back right here. so I've got the two canopy sides and I have just used some masking tape low tack tape and I've tacked them in position like so so the idea is oh little top tip here <laughs> I uh, stuck my magnet into H1 and then spent 20 minutes trying to find it because it was stuck to the bottom of my knife. So, I've got my magnet and the idea is, is that this is all going to be glued together like so. So that's the uh, H1 in place. So the idea is I'm going to glue that in place and then the uh, canopy is then going to sit on top. I'm going to glue all of this in place, remembering that obviously where you're adding the glue, you don't want it to get on anywhere that you're going to need to remember that this canopy is going to need to come off. So um, I'm gluing the sides to the back and then um, that on top like so. 
Um, now, I have actually done H2, which has got the washer in the back. Little tip here, the little plug that comes with it, I just pushed it out slightly and then sat the washer in place. That's a lovely little recess for the washer and then just sanded it flat on the back. So at the moment, that is going to go to one side with the this little bit of canopy that's going to go over the uh, wing and these very fragile um, sides but I'm not going to do that until I've got my wing ready to sit on so they're going to go to one side until we've got the uh, wing seating properly but I'm just going to finish this canopy I taped my canopy down with well, the canopy top so when I glued it I used tape and uh, I'm just going to remove this now I used alphatic resin or the super fatic glue because I felt that that was less likely to have an accident running than the super glue I've got I'm actually doing this live, as you can imagine. So, fingers crossed. Oh, there you go. Jobs are good. And that's going to fit on there like so. Lovely. Now, so I am now going to clean this up just a little bit. So the next process is going to be, um, is we are going to be adding the wing joiner just here and getting the wing all sorted when we've got the wing all sorted then we've got this um, wing covering that's going to be going over here like so so I'm just going to give this a nice bit of a clean up first so I've given the fuselage good sand up um, canopy fits really well now um, one last little thing to do on the canopy um, this little unidentified little piece here <laughs> and this piece here need cutting out and this is going to become the tongue so that the hatch is going to have a little tongue that fits in so the, front the little there. tag ends up looking like this and the idea is that then glues onto there like so up to that line let me show so that goes on to there like so and the idea is is it gives it a little bit of flexibility so that's how it goes that like that then gets glued on to there like so once we've done that that's basically the fuselage structure done the next thing is I'm going to do a part three which is it going to involve adding the wings and um, getting the wings um, sat properly, getting the wing bolt properly and getting them making up this um, top cover. So this is going to be the end of part two.